everyone, Lisa Walker here. Um, I am a member of your upline and I wanted to go over the meeting in a box. It came in um, over the weekend and I'm literally just now opening it up. So I have no idea what's in here. Um, I wanted to kind of be surprised and, and see what I get at the same time that uh, you guys find out. Let's see here. It comes with, um, comes wrapped really nice. It's got this, I don't know if you guys have ever ordered personally through your own e-store, but it has like this really nice Avon tissue paper. And then they cover it with some bubble wrap. I would take my phone off, but it's like if the lighting's good, I don't mess with it. So <laughs> I'm just going to pull it out of the box as we go. Um... This is the, I'm sure it's an A box because of the way they've got it protected. And it is. This A box, let's see. I'm going to pop it open and see what's in this one. There is black is black eyeshadow. Bear with me because I can't see. Uh, Red Supreme Lipstick, the Avon True Color, Black and Green Glimmer Stick, and some Velvet Stud Earrings. Let's see what those look like. I can't see them if they're in a bag, but they, um are kind of like a burgundy color and they are of velvet. So that purplish color that you see there is a velvet material. So, um, so anyway, all these boxes are always valued of at least $30 and they're usually on the back cover of your catalogs and a customer has to spend $40 in order to get them for 10. Now, what I typically do um, is let's say you have a customer that placed $40 in orders, but they didn't want that particular A box. I buy them anyway because they make good promotional items. And then I've also had customers that have missed out on the opportunity and they see it somewhere along the line and they want an A box from a previous campaign. Um, if I don't have it, I can't offer it to them. But if I do have it, I sell it for $15 um, if they don't have a $40 order. And if they do have a $40 order, even in the campaign that we're on, I will go ahead and give it to them for the $10 price. Um, that's just a personal preference. Again, one thing that I hope that you all know about with Avon is you can kind of do those different things for your customers. You don't have to have Avon's approval for that. Um, something else. Uh, real quick, what the box that I'm opening is not a specific order. This is from Meeting in a Box. So these are the items that I get ahead of time so that I can showcase them with, with you guys. So um, I got a, a sample of our new cologne that's coming out, which is Velvet, which now maybe that makes sense to you of why there was those um, Velvet earrings in the A-Box. I can tell you right now, samples are a fantastic way to get people to purchase products from you. And here is the actual full-size cologne of the velvet. Um, I like having the samples because then you can sell the full-size bottle. Now, um, one of the things that I have to do, I've been trying to get mesmerized black samples. And for some reason, I can't order them. They're, they're out of stock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy... Um, the mesmerized black lotion and make up my own samples so that I can sell the sets that I have here. Um, I recently tried that with my Prima and Sophia, which are um, colognes that the Prima is still available, but the Sophia is not. But I made a special, um, I put a little label on my, my samples. I opened up the sample and then I put a, um, a label in there that that said that I was making the three piece set for $20 and I only had two sets available and I've been able to get them moved that way. So that was pretty, um, you know, that's one thing with Avon. 
if you've got something in stock, try to find a new creative way that you can push it out the door. So cash in hand is always better than product. Like I've got all this product behind me, but I'm getting ready to do event season. And I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about that at the end of this um, box reveal. So this is part of the, the holiday collection. It is a little makeup case and it has one, two, three, four, five, six glimmer sticks in it. And don't forget, all of these products are going to be in your What's New. So you can see what the, it would cost you and what it's going to retail for in the brochure. The What's New is your, your best tool for um, kind of seeing what not only what's coming out, but to get better discounts on them and to maybe do a little bit of stocking up for the holiday season. And then you know that we have the Aspira block the light <laughs> but anyway this the aspira vitamin line and the the kids line just came out so i received a um a bottle of the kids size so that's nice that they finally got the kids involved i know that we had the the men's and the ladies up front let's see what this looks like it is a metallic tree ornament box real plain so uh, there's not even a picture to show you so i'm going to try to open it up here for you real quick it's packaged nice, so it's probably a breakable, because then it's got the, that's foam inside. So hopefully it won't make a weird noise. Okay. It's pretty heavy. That's a heavy ornament. Okay, there we go. So it's a heavy metallic tree ornament with a really nice ribbon. I know a lot of times when I'm working my my boost that um, people always are interested in the Avon ornaments. So that's something to, to keep in mind. And what I typically do, and again, it's your business, you can do what you want, but if I'm going to be doing an event, I kind of go off of what um, has sold in previous years or what um, customers have been asking for, um, another thing that I do personally for myself is that I won't necessarily buy something that I wouldn't want to use myself. So let's say it's, um, like a makeup. I'm not going to buy a color that I won't normally wear. I will buy, um, a shade that I would wear, see if I can sell it in an event. And if not, worst case scenario, I'll use it. Now, keep in mind, um, I've been doing this for nine years, so it might not even be me personally, but I know, um, you know, uh, Joyce down the street likes the purples. So if I have purple on hand and I don't necessarily, I don't sell it in an event, I know that at some point down the line, Joyce is going to be wanting it anyway. So I kind of do that. And I, and the reason why I do that is I like to take advantage of when they're on sale or if it's part of a bundle package. Um, this was the other ornament, really pretty swan. It's got the its feathers for the body. I think that'll that'll sell. And if not, I I already know who I can give it to as a gift, which is nice. And I just opened it, and didn't know what I was gonna have, and already know who I could give it to. And it looks like the velvet will be part of. They'll probably do a special where you get, like you buy the perfume and you get the lotion and the shower gel for free. A lot of times they'll do that. And that's exactly what I was talking about when I did um, my label. Um, hold on, let me see if I can find it for you. So I had a three-piece collection that was the the Prima. And then I had the, the Prima shampoo, or uh, shampoo, <laughs> uh, shower gel and body lotion. And as you know, probably that if you layer your your products, you shower with it, you, you put on lotion and you spray, you get that layered effect and it'll last a little longer. So I don't know if you can see that label that I made where I said three piece Prima sets available. <clears throat> uh twenty dollars oh i said two of them two three piece sets twenty dollars per set i was doing a special because i had them in on hand 
and I said that they had to claim them. So the reason why I said that is because the Prima bottle itself was on sale for $20, but then the shower gel and the body lotion were $6 each. So technically it would have cost them uh, $32 but because I had them in stock and I was trying to do a special for my, my customers, um, I wanted to let them know that I only had two. So if those two sold out and they, and they missed out and they wanted the set, they would have to buy it through the brochure, which was going to cost them more money. So um, I was able to get my sets sold that way. So it's kind of like a nice thing to do for your customers or to have a special going on to draw people over to your table. And let's see. Here we go with the velvet again. You can see a theme here that Avon went with. It's going to be a velvet choker with a garnet charm. So let's pull that out and see what. Well, it's pretty. Let's see if I, can. I um, I'm not a fan of chokers myself, personally, but I know a lot of people wear them and it looks really cute. But I feel like I'm literally choking. <laughs> but you can, it's very very pretty. It's a black velvet and this charm is gorgeous it would look really really pretty at the holidays or even for uh, New Year's Eve and it's got a nice silver clasp and chain in the back so I'm telling you one thing about Avon jewelry is if you think that it looks nice in the brochure it will knock your socks off when you see it in person the books never seem to do it justice at least not in my opinion Okay, two more things in this uh, in this box, and then we'll get on to what the other stuff I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna reload this other stuff because these I don't know what these boxes are that are coming to me here. And like I said, you know, I I try to do a meeting in a box or you know, like at the library that I talked about, but especially at this time of the year, we've all got a lot going on. Um, and a heads up, there are two holiday or two holiday events that were fairly close to us. You probably got the emails from Avon. One was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and one was in Chicago, Illinois. And I can tell you that they usually last um, two to three hours, the events themselves. So I personally, along with some other leaders in the area, did not want to make that road trip for a two or three hour meeting, especially at this time of the year. So we were approved to have our own meeting. And you will be seeing information on that if you join the um, Avon Northwest region page. Um, and then obviously if you, if you want the information, you can always shoot me a message and I'll get you the details. But it should be on October 6th. <clears throat> and I think we're looking at, shoot, you know what? Honestly, I don't want to misquote on the time. So just mark your calendar for October 6th. We're gonna to try to do a morning couple hour event and it will be myself along with other leaders in the area that are gonna kind of um, put our, our talents together and our minds together and create something for you guys who don't wanna travel. And this that I just opened while I was yapping is um, ooh la la, fa la la, <laughs> eye palette. But look how cute they even boxed it with a little print of a bow. And I'm telling you what girls, this is stunning. These colors are right up my alley. Obviously, you're not going to see it that great in this lighting probably, but I love, love, love these colors. And there's a nice brush. It's long. So, I might have to steal this for myself. Might be going in mama's stocking. <laughs> these are the colors that I would normally buy for myself. So we'll see. I will try to sell it. Um, it's not like I can't get my hands on more, but it's too gorgeous. Those colors actually do very well for me if you stick with like the neutrals. And this one is going to be Illuminate the Holidays Highlighter Palette. Again, it's got that same kind of festive print and the bow. And it's it's kind of, they're kind of doing like this Avon retro casing, but it's nice. It's a nice nice case oh these are pretty oh, so look I got the color to show for you really pretty highlighting kit it obviously you can't touch it to resell it but it looks like it's it's um a creamy cream based 
So, um, so anyway, that's what came in um, the meeting in a box for for this month. So if I did, what campaign did I do for you guys last time? I think it was 20 and 21. So this is probably 22 and 23, getting into holiday season. So I'm excited, that was a good box. Um, not that they all aren't, but I love the holidays though. Um, so anyway, I know that I, I promise not to take up too much of your time or right around the 15 minute mark. Um, but one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, building your business. So I've been at this for nine years. I've probably done leadership for four-ish, maybe five of those years um, is where I kind of started. And, um, you know, that's, I, I've kind of touched base on it before that if you really want to run this as a business, that's the best way to um, catapult your earnings is to do the, the leadership portion along with the sales portion. Um, I don't know if you can hear, but I've got the Emmys going in the background, so hopefully you can hear me over that. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to touch base on is like, how long does it take realistically? Well, let me tell you something. People have the misconception of you start up whatever company. I don't care if you're starting a home-based business from scratch, if you're starting a brick and mortar, if you're starting um, even in real estate, um, any other direct selling company, I do not care what it is. It is going to take time to build your clientele. Simple as that. This is not a job. It is not a J-O-B. A job, you go in, somebody tells you what to do, you do it, you clock out, and you get your X amount of dollars per hour, whatever your salary is. Um, and that's your immediate gratification. But when you work a business, it's a whole different thing. You've got, you know, there's a pride that's attached to that. It's in a, an excitement that's attached to that. And it, it takes time and you've got to get your name out there. And you can't say, oh, I gave out 10 books and I'm not making a million dollars yet. I mean, it just doesn't work that way. Um, if you put the effort in, you can do extremely well. I cannot tell you how many people are selling and making, you know, six and seven figures. So they've been doing it longer than, than I have. And I have... Um, you know, every year I grow. And that's the whole thing. If you're growing all the time and you are constantly having better sales and more customers, or you get that first team member, I mean, these are things that, that should excite you. So um, be patient, be consistent, and um, reach out to the different avenues of learning new things, trying new things. It's hit and miss sometimes what works for me might not work for you and what works for you might not work for me so you can't be discouraged by that but um but don't think that it's going to happen overnight because it's not so um but i truly believe in the business and the opportunity and i know that there is money to be made so um if you're passionate about avon just keep with it and you'll get to a point where you can be excited about your um, accomplishments as well and you should be along the way anyway does it it really doesn't matter. It's just, you know, baby steps. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't believe some of the little stuff that makes me happy. It's kind of silly, but, you know, um, always kind of remember to reward yourself because that's the difference between being your own boss and working for somebody else. You have the power to reward yourself with your uh, accomplishments along the way. So, um, prospecting, where should you start? Um, at the beginning, I tell you guys to do the who do you know list, which is you can even go through your cell phones, kind of t think of like even the top 50 people. Everybody knows um, more people than they think they do. And you write them all down and then you decide which one of these people is going to be a customer. Which of these people might be a helper where they'll take some brochures in to work for me or they'll pass them out to their friends that are different than my friends. Um, those would be your helpers that you can reward with um, Avon discounts or even free gifts with purchase and stuff like that. Um, I do that for my customers. So if a customer brings me a new customer order, I give them a gift and 
we both appreciate both sides of that. Um, and then who on that list do you know that can earn some extra money? It doesn't matter at, at what level. Do they just want some play money or are they looking to really make a difference um, in their family's lives? So you're basically going to take that list of 50, 100, whatever your contact list is, and break it down to those three categories and reach out to them with the, the different opportunities and, and just ask for somebody's help and just say, hey, I've launched, I've launched this new business and this is a way I would love to have your support. Or, you know, when you get your Facebook page going, always ask for people to share and, and that kind of stuff. If somebody is liking your page, making a comment on your page, um, that helps boost your visibility. So even that, even if, if they if they can't purchase from you or don't want to purchase from you or, or whatever, there's other ways where they can help support you. Um, and then there's a form called the Memory Jogger which basically tells you like, hey, while you're out and about doing your normal errands, these are places where you can drop your brochures or even speak with the people. Um, I've left brochures obviously at the doctor's offices. Um, you can go to the laundromat, um, any, the library, different places that you go in your normal errands. Um, if you're wanting to do fundraising, you can work with the PTO and see about hosting a fundraiser for the kids at the school. Uh, and that's what the memory jogger is. And then I also have a survey card. So the survey card is, okay. The survey card is like this. I do four up on a sheet and it's where you get their name and contact information. And then it says, I'd like to learn about, and then there's like a little box where they can check it off and it says adding additional earnings to my monthly income obviously a team member um, how the club or group can earn money fundraising saving money and supporting an independent business uh, representative so obviously customer so it's basically those three things that I talked about earlier all in a little form so that you can get contact information and reach out to them about what they're interested in and the bottom one just says shopping online some people would prefer to shop online that's you know awesome so what I'm gonna do when I send this email I say I created those three um, forms for you guys so I'm gonna attach those to the email as well so I will be sending you the memory jogger the who do you know and that prospecting card survey so that you guys can print them out and use them um, at your discretion so um, one of the other things that I'd like for you guys to think about with it being in you know this is mid-september now so I've already got some holiday events booked at craft shows and um, little vendor vendor things going on and start thinking about what you want to do to market yourself during fourth quarter this is the big time to make the money so um you know is your church holding a fall you know a, a christmas bazaar um your children's school um other I, I mean i personally have done better at the high school craft fairs sometimes it's harder to get in because they only allow um, one representative per company um but the other thing that I do offer to my team is any event that I am at, I allow you to come and recruit. So if you are wanting to build your business as far as becoming a leader yourself and building a team, you're more than welcome to kind of um, learn the ropes and come to the event. It doesn't cost you anything. You'll just need like your own supplies as far as um, bringing business cards and um, a way to gather information and give them some information about uh, building a team. So, um, turn that down. People are clapping it. Somebody wants something up there. Supporting actress. Comedy. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, just, just think about that. And if you have any questions about... Um, trying to find a location there's all kinds of stuff on Facebook now there will be um, different Facebook groups that you can look at to see what kind of events are going on in the area and who might need an Avon representative so um, I think that was all I wanted to 
talk about today. Originally, I was going to split these up into two things. I didn't expect the meeting in the box to come already, or I would have split it up and then the video wouldn't have been as long. But since I'm on here with you guys, again, wanted to kind of touch base on what it takes, how long it takes, and what you guys should be thinking about right now with the holiday season. That's why there's all kinds of boxes and stuff around me. I'm in the middle of taking inventory so that I know what's going on for the events and I can kind of manage my my products a little bit better. Usually it's just kind of a whatever, just sell it, mark it down, and then I deal with it later. But um, I've got a lot more going on this year, so I've, I've got to tackle it a little bit differently. So anyway, have a good night. I'm going to... If you don't know me by now, <laughs> I'm a wine drinker, so I'm going to enjoy my wine, watch the Emmys, count my inventory, and uh, hopefully I'll get some sometime today. I can't make any promises, so um, don't forget if you want any personal one-on-one, -on -one, get in touch with me, and my calendar does book up pretty quick at this time of the year, So, but I can definitely, um, if nothing else, do either um, a phone meeting is always the easiest. So anyway, cheers. See y'all soon. Bye.